Hello, Journey Junkie community, and welcome back to the mat. Today's sequence is a short morning yoga flow to feel at peace. It's a restorative practice with a lot of simple movements to bring you back home and leave you feeling really good. One note about props, if you want to incorporate a bolster and you have one, grab it. I will cue you when to use it. As always, if you're not part of our online tribe, click that link in the description below and come join us. Otherwise, we will start in Balasana, child's pose. I will meet you there. Okay, knees are spread nice and wide. If you have that bolster, now is when you can use it, sliding it right between the legs and resting atop of it. Otherwise, we're softening down to the mat, extending the fingers out in front of us and softening the chest down. Forehead surrenders to the earth. And let everything go here. No need to grip or hold on. Release the tension. Let the breath be free and flow with fluidity and grace and ease. We'll be here for five breaths. Next, inhale, lift the gaze and slide the right arm through and over to the left for a thread the needle variation. Inhale, lift the gaze, unwind the body, Take it over to the left, left arm sweeps through, left ear comes down to the mat. Come back through to center and walk your belly down towards the mat as you come into Sphinx Pose. If you have your bolster, we're not gonna be here that long, but a great way to do sphinx with the bolster is to bring it underneath and bring the elbows out a little bit farther in front of you. But without the bolster, elbows are under the shoulders or a smidge in front of the shoulders. Push down into your forearms and watch how much your chest lifts and expands here as you draw the shoulders back into space and soften that pubic bone down to the earth. Healthy lift in the neck, no cranking, and breathe here. Last breath. And exhale the forehead all the way down to the mat, coming into seal pose. I like to bring my hands outside of the mat, so wider than the mat, and then hands at about a 45 degree angle away from you. Bring the forehead down to the earth, and we're pushing into the tops of the hands and straightening the arms all the way on an inhale breath. Here we go, inhale, push into the heels and the hands, and lift on up. If this is too much, you need to walk the hands closer, come back down, readjust, and lift back up. We're here for five breaths. Really sink the tailbone down if that feels right in your body. And take the and take the chest, that sternum, up towards the sky. It's this opposing sensation happening. And 
soften back down to the earth. Hands by the low ribs. Come up onto a kneeling position. Curl the toes under and we're sitting back. So toe stand. I like to untuck my pinky toes. They like to get stuck here and sit all the way back, resting the hips over the heels. On an inhale breath, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, bring them down. Do that a few times, inhale. Exhale, you can let the arms cross over the body. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. The beauty of this is it also distracts you from feeling your toes. Keep moving. Exhale down. A couple more times. Two more. Stick with it. Last one. And arms come down, plant the hands in front of you, step the feet back, come into downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. I like to bend my knees here and find a lot of length through my spine and also tap into my hamstrings without pulling into the calf muscles. Inhale to gaze forward. Walk your feet, top of the mat. And exhale to forward fold. Take the feet hip width distance, maybe a little bit wider. Generous bend in the knees. Cut both elbows. And we're gonna be here for about a minute in this Uttanasana forward fold. So find what's comfortable for you. A couple more breaths. Allow yourself to sink maybe a little bit further into the movement. And if you have your arms bound, let them go. Heel toe the feet together. Bend the knees, roll the body up by bringing the belly button to the spine and stacking each of the vertebrae. Once you get to the top, shoulders roll back, head and neck lift. Moving through three half sun salutations, inhale the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Hands down through heart center, Tadasana. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Again, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. This time you have three breaths. Do whatever feels good.
and soften the knees down to the mat. Meet me in a Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Prepare for that. So legs out in front of you. This is that time to grab your bolster if you have it. Place it right on top of the thighs. You could also stack blocks here, but inhale, drive your fingertips into the earth. And exhale to fold, but I want you to fold without effort. So just round here and fully sink into the posture. No gripping, no trying to stretch and make more space. Just melt, even allow the feet to let go. Five breaths here. And inhale, rise up. Meet me in a seated position to close this practice with a short uh, silence, short silent meditation. So ground down through those sitting bones, rise up through the body, surrender the shoulders down, take a big inhale. Let anything else holding on, let it go. Close your eyes and repeat to yourself, I am at peace as you sit here and seal this practice. Inhale, open your eyes. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember that this feeling of peace, of wholeness, of worthiness, of inspiration and energy is always available to you because it's within you. So coming back to the mat and reminding yourself of that is such a gift and I hope you give it to yourself as much as you need it. So with that said, thank you so much for joining, joining me. Remember, you can join our online community by clicking that link in the description below. I'll meet you back here next week for another opportunity to live our journey through the yoga practice.